Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a way to use Llama index easily locally with API based models. Llama index, if you don't know, is one of the premier tool when it comes to creating LLM powered applications. I have covered Llama index a lot on the channel. It is a leading data framework for building LLM applications and you can do a lot of things with it. For example, you can load in 160 plus data sources and data formats from unstructured, semi-structured to structured data such as like APIs, PDFs, documents, SQL. You can index and store that data. It provides you vector store, document store, graph store, and the list goes on and on. You can even orchestrate production LLM workloads or workflows over your own data from prompt chains to advanced track to agents. And of course, it also provides you observability through evaluation and a lot of other cool features. I'm not going to go into the detail of Llama index here. Rather, I wanted to show you this nifty little tool called as Create Llama. And as per this tool, this is one of the easiest way to get started with Llama index. So we will be installing it locally and then we will see how it works. We will be using API based model from OpenAI. So for that, you would need an API key that is a paid option from platform.openai.com. So make sure that you have your key if you are following along. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. Also, they are running this Hacktober 2024 where you can submit your LLM powered or generated content to win $100 in free GPU compute credits okay so that's said and done let's go and check it out what exactly this create llama is as i said i am running this ubuntu 22.04 and i have this one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mass compute so let me clear the screen next up let's first create a virtual environment with conda let's wait for it to finish creating shouldn't take too long and that is done. Let me git clone the repo of this create llama and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So we have cloned it and we have seeded into it. One thing which you need to have before you proceed is to have node and npm installed or npx. So I have this node version installed and I have this npm version installed. I'm not sure if I have npx. Okay, I also have npx. So make sure that you have node and npm or node and npx installed. So let me clear the screen. If you don't know how to install it, I already have done a fair bit of videos on it. So make sure you check it out. Next up, what you need to do is you need to set your OpenAI's API key, not this one. Sorry, let me clear the screen and paste it again. So just set this environment variable in your environment and make sure that you have set your key. So let me set my key here and then I will clear the screen. So I have set my key. Now in order to run it, all you need to do is to run this command npm create llama at latest and it is going to install few things. Just press Y here and then it is going to install packages and it is an interactive CLI where you can create your project or your application with Llama index. So you can just, it is asking you your project name. You can just say my app or whatever you like. And it's saying which template you like to use. I'll just, you want to use a agentic rack like chat with your own documents or multi-agent app or structured. I'm just going to go with default, just press enter. Again, next.js. And do you want to set it up? Observability, like you want to log everything. I don't want to do it. And then it is asking me to provide my OpenAI's API key. So I already have set it, so I'm not sure why it is asking me, but let me paste it here and press enter. And if my key would be displayed here, so I'm just going to clear the screen and I'll proceed further. So as it was showing my key on the screen, so I have just trimmed down the display screen here and you can see that it has asked me a few other questions that if I want to, um, add any data source it is using an example pdf and then i'm not using any data source i'm not using llama parse if you want to use llama parse you would need to go to this llama cloud and get your api key from there 
I'm not using it at the moment and for the vector store I'm just doing it in the file system and then it is asking me if you if I want to build any agent so I'm just going to select the uh, toggle here so I'm just going to go with Dr. Go search and then press enter and then it is saying that starts in VS code generate code and install so maybe I'll just go with VS code it is using npm it has started the VS code from here and then I'm just going to press cancel here it is just my local system nothing else so I'm just going to do here it is telling me what exactly that is and you can remove it it is telling me how to get started first install this 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 or if you go back to that screen again let me make it a bit bigger so this is what i was talking about that this is a whole file it has created you can manually run this to install all the dependencies for your new project and then once you run it in the development server you can access it at port 3000 locally and if you go back to your terminal you will see that it has created this env file and it is it has created your whole script in this vs code which i just showed you here there you go so this is your whole app which it has created quite quickly and you see this is your my app and this is all the config all the public variables and all that stuff but be aware of one thing that because it is using openai so the cost could go a bit higher so i just checked it has around costed me around just over a dollar for just to create this thing so this could get pretty expensive pretty soon so you need to be aware of that i wish that it will be uh, more uh, like uh, coherent with the uh, or integrated with the local models but the truth of the fact is that if you want to generate these sort of applications then unfortunately uh, no matter how much i love open source and these apache license uh, models i believe that api based models like these open AIs models or the anthropics cloud model they are the best at the moment if you want to generate something like this so this is how easy it is to generate a full-blown application with llama create which primarily is calling the llama index api and even llama index is simple enough but this is just another abstraction on top of it which makes things quite easy to use so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think i will drop the link to its website in video's description play around with it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel also i wanted to introduce you to another sponsor of the video which is agent ql agent ql is um, another structured query language which is quite performant it uh, you, when you use it you will forget fragile xpath and dom selectors it is an ai powered you know tool which finds element reliably even as website changes it offers you painless data extraction and also web automation i will drop the link to their website too in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for all the support